Welcome back, folks. Today, I've put together a list of must-haves, eight preps everyone needs but nobody has. Isn't it strange how in those prepper videos they miss out on these important items? I've never seen many of these mentioned before, so I decided to jot them down a few days ago to get my thoughts straight. But let's get into it and see what these essentials are all about. 1. Fishing Supplies If you're considering stocking up on essentials for survival or an emergency scenario, don't overlook the importance of fishing supplies. When I stocked my pond with bluegill, they not only survived but thrived and multiplied. Soon I realized that without the proper equipment, I had no means to catch them if needed. This highlights a crucial aspect of preparedness, access to a reliable food source. Walking through a local Walmart one day, I realized just how accessible fishing supplies are. From bobbers and hooks to weights, everything you need to start fishing is readily available at reasonable prices. This is a simple and effective way to ensure that you can catch fish from your pond or a nearby waterway in a pinch. Moreover, fishing isn't just about having a pole, it's about being resourceful with what you have. For instance, while I own a conventional fishing pole, it's hardly used, sitting idle in the barn. However, in a survival situation, you can craft a makeshift fishing pole from a young, straight tree. Just cut it down, strip the limbs, and you have a functional fishing pole. This adaptability is key in emergency preparedness. It's not only about having specific items, but also about leveraging common materials for multiple uses. For example, I have a variety of twine in my basement originally intended for multiple purposes, including setting up tripwires for alarms. This twine can also be repurposed as fishing line in a pinch. Remember, in situations where traditional food sources might be unavailable, fishing can provide a vital source of nutrition. By equipping yourself with basic fishing supplies and learning how to utilize your surroundings effectively, you can significantly enhance your resilience and self-sufficiency in face of unforeseen challenges. 2. Sewing Kit Why is a sewing kit so critical, especially in scenarios where self-reliance becomes paramount? During any emergency or survival situation, be it due to natural disasters, financial crises, or societal breakdowns, the availability of basic necessities, including clothing, becomes limited. Here's where a sewing kit steps into the limelight. It empowers you to extend the life of your clothing and other fabric-based items. Being able to repair a tear in your jacket, fix a button, or even adjust sizes of garments can be invaluable. Not only does it help you maintain your clothing, but it also conserves resources and avoids the need for replacements, which might not be readily available. Consider this. The average person might face numerous minor damages to their clothing annually, from lost buttons to seams coming undone. Now amplify that need under survival conditions where rough use is likely, and the nearest store isn't just around the corner. Moreover, sewing isn't just about clothing. It's about being able to mend tents, backpacks, and even fabricating small items like pouches or covers as needed. A sewing kit is remarkably affordable. A complete set with needles, thread, scissors, and other essentials can be found online for as little as $4.50. Investing in one isn't just practical. It's a smart financial decision, reducing the need for costly replacements. 3. Activated Charcoal Activated charcoal is more than just your regular charcoal. It's a specially treated substance that can have a significant impact on your health and home. You might have come across it as a popular water filter. And there's a good reason for that. Activated charcoal is incredibly effective at purifying water, removing impurities and contaminants that you definitely don't want to drink. But its uses extend far beyond water filtration. In medical emergencies, activated charcoal is a lifesaver, quite literally. It's commonly used in emergency rooms to treat cases of poisoning and drug overdoses. This is because activated charcoal has a unique ability to bind to toxins and drugs, effectively preventing their absorption in the gastrointestinal tract. If you're considering using activated charcoal internally, perhaps for its benefits like promoting kidney health or providing relief from intestinal gas and diarrhea, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider first. While it's lauded for these health benefits, activated charcoal can also interact with medications and absorb nutrients, which might not always be desirable. For those interested in natural remedies, activated charcoal is a versatile addition to your wellness toolkit. It's used in dental care for teeth whitening and to combat oral bacteria, 
offering a natural solution for enhancing oral health. In skincare, activated charcoal can help clear toxins from your pores, making it a popular ingredient in face masks and cleansers. It even has applications as a deodorant and in treating skin infections, thanks to its ability to absorb odors and harmful bacteria. So, whether you're looking to improve your health, purify your water, or enhance your beauty routine, activated charcoal might just be the all-in-one solution you've been searching for. Just remember, while it's a powerful tool, always ensure its use is safe and appropriate for you by seeking professional advice. 4. Ziploc Bags Ziploc bags are surprisingly one of the top items that everyone needs but few people stock up on adequately, despite their multitude of uses. These versatile bags, available in various sizes like quart and gallon, serve many purposes beyond just storing food. For instance, they are incredibly useful in organizing and protecting items, especially in specialized activities like firearm maintenance and target practice. When preparing for a shooting session instead of using expensive self-defense ammunition, you can store it separately in a Ziploc bag and use more affordable full metal jacket rounds instead. This not only helps in managing resources efficiently, but also ensures that your more critical ammo is preserved and protected from environmental elements. According to market research, over 80% of U.S. households purchase Ziploc bags, but typically for conventional uses like food storage. However, their potential for other applications, such as in safety and organization during activities like target practice, is often overlooked. By using these bags to segregate and protect ammunition, you enhance your readiness and ensure that valuable resources like high-quality self-defense bullets are not wasted during routine activities. 5. Extra Footwear When considering what to pack for a survival scenario, one often overlooked item is extra footwear, specifically sturdy work boots. Now you might wonder why shoes would be so crucial in a SHTF situation. The answer lies in the increased physical demands of such environments. In emergencies, especially those that disrupt societal norms, you'll likely find yourself engaged in more labor-intensive activities than usual. Things like building, clearing debris, or even trekking long distances. The importance of having good quality, durable work boots cannot be overstated. They're designed to protect your feet from harsh conditions, which is vital because foot injuries can be debilitating. Data from industrial settings, which might parallel the demands of an SHTF scenario, show that foot injuries can lead to significant downtime and mobility issues. For instance, studies on workplace foot injuries emphasize that protective footwear reduces the severity of accidents and the overall incidence of foot injuries. Moreover, wearing the right footwear can also prevent fatigue, thanks to better arch support and cushioning. This can be a crucial advantage when you need to be on your feet for extended periods during a crisis. So remember, don't wait until your current pair of boots is worn out. Ensuring you have an extra pair of well-fitting, durable work boots could literally save your feet and help you stay mobile and effective, no matter what challenges you face. 6. Let's talk about a critical component of disaster preparedness that might not come first to mind, gas and gas cans. Imagine this scenario. You're one of the 56 million Americans living in an apartment, potentially underprepared for a crisis. Unlike homeowners who might have garages or sheds for storing essentials like gasoline, your storage options are limited. Now consider the importance of having enough fuel. It's not just about getting from point A to point B, it's about ensuring you can evacuate if necessary or continue to sustain yourself if you choose to shelter in place. Fuel becomes even more crucial during times of crisis, for instance, during extensive power outages or in the aftermath of a natural disaster, gas stations can become inoperable due to power failures or supply chain disruptions leading to gas shortages. Historical data shows that in events like Hurricane Sandy, fuel shortages were significant and people queued for hours to get gas, with many stations running dry. Moreover, there's a real risk of gas siphoning in neighborhoods, particularly during prolonged emergencies. This theft not only deprives you of your mobility, but can leave you stranded in potentially unsafe conditions. In times of crisis, being able to reach a safer location like a family ranch or a more secure environment becomes indispensable. Therefore, having a sufficient supply of safely stored gasoline, in compliance with safety regulations, can be a lifeline. Consider the broader implications. Without adequate fuel, your options diminish rapidly. 
you might not be able to reach safety, access emergency services, or obtain necessary supplies. This is why gas and proper fuel storage are not just practical concerns but essential aspects of emergency preparedness. So, ask yourself, do you have enough fuel to handle a crisis? If not, now is the time to plan. Make sure you're equipped to protect yourself and your loved ones when stability is most needed. Number seven on our list of often forgotten essentials is cash. In times of widespread closures like schools, businesses, restaurants, and sports events, having physical cash on hand becomes crucial. As we adapt to staying home, consider whether you have enough funds to manage essential outings, such as visits to the pharmacy, doctor, or grocery shopping, and also to cover regular bills. This consideration becomes even more important if you or someone in your household has had their employment impacted. Ask yourself, do you have the financial resources to cover your expenses for two weeks, a month, or even three months? With many financial institutions potentially operating under restricted hours or services, access to cash can ensure that you can manage during unpredictable situations. It's a practical step to prepare for the unexpected and maintain your household during prolonged disruptions. Number eight on our list is water, a vital resource that often sees a rush during emergencies, resulting in emptied shelves at stores like Walmart and grocery outlets across the country. You might have noticed this too, the frantic buying of water jugs and cases. However, during my own research, I found something quite interesting. In the midst of this panic, the water filters available in the hardware sections of stores like Walmart, Lowe's, and Home Depot were largely ignored. It seems that in the hurry to stock up, many overlook these useful items. While the power is on, it's easy to forget about the convenience of our home taps. Tap water, with the aid of a simple filter, can be just as good for drinking. Investing in a few good water filters, like those from Brita, Berkey, or Zero Water, can save you a trip to the store during a rush and ensure you have access to clean water, even if the public water supply gets compromised. It's not impractical to keep a few gallons of water stored for emergencies where you might lose power and access to running water. Storms or other severe conditions can lead to such scenarios. But alongside storing water, consider how you might need to collect and purify water if you're on the move. Water bricks and jerry cans are excellent for transport and storage, making them perfect for those who need to evacuate or can't rely on home supplies. For those planning to stay put during emergencies, a setup like zero water with some extra filters can be sufficient. This approach not only ensures you have safe drinking water, but also reduces the need for panic buying when a crisis hits. Thank you for watching.